Hello and uh, welcome to another video from me, the blind journalist. Today's video is uh, about blogging in itself, and um, the Leveson inquiry. If you uh, look back at it, uh, it said that Lord Le Lord Justice Leveson he said that he's not going to try and regulate the internet because people don't actually believe what they read on the internet. They just see it as like someone's view. They don't feel like it's got any backing behind it, whereas they would do for like a newspaper or. Uh, a news channel um, or something like that so therefore he goes he's not going to try and regulate the press however the internet sorry however the royal charter have said that basically they are going to try and regulate the internet so that bloggers bedroom bloggers anyone that puts anything on the internet that is like a blog or that is opinion on the news or someone that's in the news or about a news topic then they're going to try and regulate that however they've now come out and said that they aren't um, going to regulate. They all they are only going to regulate for those people who have a blog, where two three people blog on that. So it's like major blogs for for one that's mine, where it's just me. They can't regulate me, so that's a good thing. However, I think in general, even the other the, you know the bigger blogs where there are several people blogging on that, on that blog. I think why are they trying to regulate the internet? They're trying to stop people from having an opinion and getting their opinion out there. I mean, what what what's the point? Such as such things like social media. You know, you put a tweet saying, "Oh, you know, I'm not happy today because someone said this or someone said that." That's opinion, and and the Royal Charter are trying to do it in such a way whereby we can't put our opinions out there, and then that's just wrong. And also, the Parliament, they're gonna when the bill gets through there um, to the Lords, they're gonna try and they're allowed to change the phrasing and the wording and stuff like that so they're actually going to be able to if they want to to stop bedroom bloggers or anyone you know they could say that well guess what now nobody can say anything about david cameron or nick Clegg or something like that and they've got the power to do that so it's, it's pretty scary and um, i mean they're saying it's d-day today for newspapers and things like that but you can't overlook the internet it's uh it's massive and um we, you know, we need. It's it's worrying, you know, that they're trying to take our opinion away from us. Luckily, it's good that they're not gonna affect me, um, because I would be worried. I wouldn't be able to post really. Um, I know I put my opinion out there, give you the opinion, give you the chance to get your opinion across as well. But please keep doing it. Um, I love your feedback. I love that you're getting in touch with me. Um, uh, please follow me on Twitter at sal nine five nine four. The email address is theblindjournalist at gmail dot com, and a bit of good news actually. Uh, I've actually started to use a cane. Um, I've been out with my symbol cane, and I've also been out with my guide cane. I've still not took the big step of taking out the long cane, but because of that, I've actually broken that stigma, and I've gone out there. I'm actually gonna start using my long cane now happily. So yeah, a big bit of good news there. A big smile on my face. Um, so yeah, that's good. Um, and uh, yeah, get in touch with me. Um, anything that you want me to talk about, I'm, I'd happily talk about it. So get in touch, take care of yourselves and uh, I'll put another video up soon. Thank you.